What's the significance of Taiwan ruling to allow LGBTQ couples to adopt non-relative children? After four years of efforts, today our government finally passed the third reading of the bill allowing same-sex couples to adopt non-blood related children. We can see that our government and the lawmakers from different political parties have made efforts to facilitate it. Following the full legalization of transnational same-sex marriage in January this year,、uh, Taiwan has taken another big step towards marriage equality. Before this law, what were the options available to LGBTQ couples to adopt? Our same-sex marriage act only allowed one spouse to adopt the biological child of、uh, of the other spouse, but did not permit the adoption of stepchildren or non-blood related children. And this forced same-sex couples with adopted children to be legally recognized as single parents. Which completely disregarded the best interest of the children. This milestone it allows、uh, future generations in Taiwan, regardless of their sexual orientation, to adopt children without a blood relationship and grow up in loving families. Are there challenges that remain to achieve civil partnership equality in Taiwan? Although transnational same-sex marriage has been partially legalized, Taiwanese are still excluded. From the current legal framework, when it comes to marrying Chinese citizens, while this is a significant victory for the LGBTQ community, there is still room for further progress, like、um, 两岸同婚、人工生殖、婚生推定以及呃同婚回归民法 And we will continue our efforts to advocate for change.